Disease development is not quite as linear as some may think. There are three elements in disease development, exposure, infection, and then disease. A host can be exposed to a disease or an infectious agent, but that doesn't mean that the host will become infected. By the same token, the host can become infected by an agent, but that does not mean that the host is going to have the disease. For example, many people become infected with the tuberculosis bacilli, and they have positive TPPD skin tests, and yet, Further testing demonstrates that they don't have active tuberculosis disease. Infection actually refers to the entry, development, and multiplication of an infectious agent in a susceptible host. Infection also depends on many different factors. Someone may or may not become infected depending on what the infectious dose is. Factors to consider. How much of an exposure did that person have to the actual infectious dose? Is this an agent that can easily enter and multiply in a person's system? And finally, how immune compromised is the host? Does the host have any other underlying medical conditions, such as chemotherapy? Those issues play a big role in whether the infection will develop into the disease. Once the host has the disease, then clinical symptoms of the disease will show the further acceleration of the process.